good. We're going bowling. <laughs> Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Live from the birthplace of college football, it is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I am Wayne Viner. That is Mason Viner. Maryland pulls off a 24 point win just when they absolutely needed it on wild card Saturday for Maryland. Uh, quite nice to see. Mason, what'd you see out there? Yeah, Maryland gets um, gets it together. They, they they figure out a way to get through it, and this has been a season of a lot of ups and downs. We just heard all the players and, and Coach Loxley say that, but this one ha had a feeling of more. It's 5-6 and six against 5-6. and six. You talk about what this team's trying to build, what this program's trying to build, and all the times where I've stood, whether it be, well, never on this field. This is my first time here, but on fields all over this conference and country and just said they just didn't come out and look like they wanted it more. Today they came out and they looked like they wanted it more. Maryland stands up Rutgers four times. Once early in the game right here, we're right inside the goal line here on the scoreboard end of the stadium. I uh, figured you can't stop Rutgers all the time on fourth down. Maryland's defense did. I really think that's the pivotal point. If Rutgers scores on those four possessions, that's enough to win the game. Maryland only wins by 24. They stop 28 point blank points for Rutgers. It is, and for me, it, it showed what a lot of Maryland fans have been looking for. Why don't they go for it every time they're inside the 40? I think today showed that. Rutgers could have punted the ball. They could have played possession, waited for Maryland to make the mistakes that Maryland's known for this year. Mm -hmm. But instead, they go for it. Maryland took those opportunities. They had a 99.4-yard drive from the inside the one-yard line, and they capitalized on them. You know, they kind of played this game almost the way that a lot of people want Maryland to play and Rutgers showed why you don't play that way and, and Loxley continued to do what he believed in continue to put this team in positions that he thought they were best to win they punted the ball a couple of times where I'm sure there were fans at home yelling at them to go for it there and were it people worked out. here who wanted them to go for it but yes Rutgers goes for it goes for it goes for it gets nothing for it and, and I think other than that and the fact that Maryland runs the ball well and Leah his seventh 300 yard passing game he continues to put his name in the record book. Uh, opportunity to go bowling. Uh, and we're happy here in New Jersey. So we'll talk about what the trophy should be for this game. Uh, after this word from the big dog himself, Rick Jacklich and Rakim Jarrett. Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklich Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. Back on the field, it's SHI Stadium here at Rutgers. You had a pretty good idea for what the trophy should be, Mason. Well, well, it comes from our friend AC Payday, as he's known on Twitter. I think it's got to be a golden easy pass. <laughs> I, I really do. And you know what? I have one on order. It didn't come. Uh, supply chain issues, you know, yeah. COVID, you know. I know. Um, uh, but I think they got to have one. You know, we have some ridiculous trophies throughout this conference in the country. I think it's time for this game uh, to have one. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you talk about this place, I've never been here before. The game day experience isn't bad. We have a game day vlog that will be coming out from today. But... I was impressed by the way they built this place up. You know, they've been doing some projects to improve it. It was known as one of the worst stadiums in the conference. And uh, being around it, it's 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 not too bad. You know, it's it's kind of on par with where Maryland's at. But a decent crowd today. And, you know, a lot of Terps got out here and they had a chance to celebrate it at the end of the game. Yeah, celebrate at the end of the game. Celebrate the end of five years of frustration. You had a game, you had a win. 
and gosh darn it, Maryland wins the game, and they do it going away. They do it on the ground. Colby McDonald looks good. Teon Fleet Davis looks really good. When Maryland needed plays, they throw the ball to Rock Jarrett, and I tell you that uh, Loxley has said... Talia, not Talia, Talia. I never said that, Lox. <laughs> My bad, just... <laughs> But Talia. since you're here, uh, that defense, uh, that was fourth down place. My goodness, that was game changing. came up big, man. It came up big. Yeah, they did. We're going bowling. <laughs> hey, I got one, one more question for no, you. No, no more. No more. He walks away. Uh, we're, I don't think we can top that. I think we should wrap it up here. Uh, Mason, your takeaways from, from being on the field when Maryland finally gets to a bowl game. It, it's it's been a long time, and and you know covered this team a lot through its through its darkest days in probably this program's history, and you know there's just been a lot of bad, there really has, and you know I've been somebody that's been going to these games since really I can remember, and it's just been a long time since they've since they've gotten to this point. You know it's a 500 year, and it kind of feels ridiculous to talk about it like that. It's a lot to me, at least in my fandom, like the seven to nine year last year from the Washington football team, but. You know, there's, there's a lot of texts I've sent this year to um, Jordan and to you, Wayne, that have said, I cannot believe that every weekend I have to sit down and watch these two teams. Today, that made it a little bit better. Uh, the bowl games, you know, they really don't matter much anymore. Uh, but getting there, getting the extra practices, being able to recruit with that, and, and really being able to, I feel like, shut a lot of people in this conference up. There's a lot of teams that don't make bowl games every year. Maryland's one of them. And you can say whatever they are, if they're a bad team or not. It, it doesn't matter. This had to be their goal. This is a team that was picked by reputable sites as 1-11 and 11 this year. And that's something we, I think we all need to realize and appreciate, that uh, this is a team that was nationally picked 3-9, 1-11, and 2-10, wherever you look. Uh, it, was, it was not good, and it certainly was not this. And this is an accomplishment, and something you can take off of and build off of, because it's not, you know, there is senior leadership, but it's not a senior-led team. they got guys coming up through this program, and the continuity of it and being able to keep some of these coaches around is – is going to be valuable. If you look at what's happened over the past 10 years, it feels like there's been a huge turnover every year. Maybe they can keep something to going, uh, keep guys like Brian Braswell, Coach Loxley's obviously going to be here, and, and really give these coordinators an opportunity to install their systems year over year and, and use the players that they uh, really get to know. And with that, we will step aside. Um, we're actually going to, going to do something we haven't done in a long time, not, not today, but we're actually going out to the Monday night football game. So we might even check in from FedEx Field after the Seahawks and the Washington football team. And then we have the, the huge game on Wednesday night, Virginia Tech basketball and the Len Bias Hall of Fame. So we'll get to keep it rolling all week. But it has been a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend just because the football team here beat Rutgers. Good afternoon from Rutgers. We're going bowling. <laughs>